in this video, I've got a quick tasting, a quick review of Aldi's. Aldi the supermarket, Aldi's brand new limited edition uh, crossbones. What have they called it? Tropical Pineapple Dark Rum. So if you want to know all about this, stay tuned. Hey Spiced Rum fans, I am Steve the Barman and I'm hoping these videos help you drink, serve and enjoy your favourite spiced rums and flavoured rums and all those kind of things. Not proper rums, I'm not about them. I'm about spiced rums and flavoured rums on Sundays. The rest of the time I'm about cocktails. So uh, if you like me, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, give me, uh, get, subscribe to my channel and let's get into this this one i've been quite excited about this this is a, if you're in the spiced rum club over on facebook there's a few uh, pictures and a few people now cropping up with this this is aldi's new brand new limited uh, limited release they've called it limited edition uh, tropical pineapple dark rum and um, there isn't really much i can tell you about it i've not tried it yet obviously uh, price wise it cost me six i can't remember it was 16 pounds or 16.99 17 pounds one of the one of the two and i've not actually tried uh, their crossbones uh, range yet their crossbones have i've got three now in the range and they're going for rum out and out rum with that they've got a dark rum and a gold rum and this but i think this is the quite the kind of crop crossover because i would call this in our sort of gang uh flavored obviously tropical pineapple and apparently there is a hint of spice in there as well i just read you the little card in there crossbones a limited release a tropical pine pineapple flavor dark rum based spirit drink has oh, quite a mouthful in it crossbones limited release a tropical pineapple flavor dark rum based spirit drink has a mouth-watering island flavours of tropical fruit, red apple, and a hint, uh, and just a hint of spiced. Well-rounded, exceptionally refined, served with ginger beer over chunky ice and a wedge of lime. And I think that's really all we can tell about it. The back of the bottle echoes exactly the same as that. ABV-wise, um, that is something I haven't even looked at now. 37.5% ABV. Um, so that's really it. It's obviously the flavour, um, where have we gone? The pineapple flavour spirit drink. Obviously we know there's going to be quite a healthy uh, dose of flavours and additives and uh, sugar in there as well. I'm not saying it's going to be massively sweet, but it's going to be hints of that, a, as in it is a spirit drink, not a rum. Okay. Right then, smell wise. Now, this is quite interesting here. Very subtle pineapple on the nose. It doesn't hit you at all. Um, just very, very subtle. That actually reminds me of uh, Plantation Stiggins Fancy. When you crack that, uh, although you do get that that is a rum, it's just that subtle, uh, very, very subtle kind of hints of uh, pineapple coming through. And it's the, same, it's the same with this. I do actually get that little subtle hint of apple. Um, but yeah, it's just very, very subtle. Uh, when you compare it, now I have got these here. I don't know how this is going to go, uh, but I have seen in the Spice Drum Club that people are comparing this with certain other brands. So I have got them here, uh, ready and waiting to go. DMF Pineapple, obviously that is a spiced rum, a pineapple spiced rum, and that is just a pineapple rum. Uh, but this one has allegedly got spices in it, so I'm not sure which way we're going to go yet with that. And we've also got damage so that I reviewed a few weeks back as well, um, sort of pineapple rum. So I have got those there. Um, compare wise, price wise, because that's obviously a big thing. You know, this is seventeen pounds. May even go cheaper. Um, that's about the same price point, maybe a couple of quid more. Um, that's been on offer for quite a while. That's um, but normally would be about twenty pounds, and that's actually a lot more expensive. But that is flipping tasty. We do like that. So yeah i have got those there just in case um well we will do a comparison at the end we will do we'll sit we'll see how it goes can we if it, that's the thing i was trying to get across is it something that we can compare to those or is it a standalone product we shall see but yeah it's just very very subtle when for instance when i open red leg the pineapple and the spice 
just really hit you on there. There's absolutely no doubt that that is there. Uh, and the DMF, again, it's just big, bold pineapple notes on there. So completely different in that respect. Very, very subtle. I'm looking forward to trying this now. So that's what we're going to do next. Right then. Taste. What does this taste like? Wow. Wow. Flipping wow. That's what it tastes like. I am a big, big fan of that. Um, sweetness scale. Um, I'm going to give it a three. It could potentially be a three and a half out of five, but I'm going to give it, I'm going to settle on a three. It has got a little bit of uh, sugar um, added to it because it does kind of stick quite well to the glass. But the rum finish on that um, and the lack of overbearing pineapple uh, kind of help it to sort of stay a three and not possibly be classed as a lot a lot sweeter um do you know what this works an absolute treat completely different profile to the damiso um that is still a standalone that's still my favorite pineapple flavored um rum by a million miles you know that holds pineapple if you want something that's vivacious and just has pineapple coming through it you ain't going to beat that. That is a stonking, stonking brand. Absolutely love that. Because if I want something that's pineapple flavoured, that is that in a nutshell. However, where this comes in is that this is a rum. This is a rum with a hint of um, hint of pineapple coming through. And I actually would, and I'm sorry if any rum people come out and attack me for this, but I actually would put that alongside something like plantations uh, stiggins fancy their pineapple rum um i do quite believe actually that that is in that category now let's just have a little let's just have a little refresher of a dmf dmf makes me want to uh, want to mix it it's just that little bit in there it's lovely to drink neat it really does work neat but it just kind of makes me want to mix it a little bit more. This one, I I don't know. I, I was going to say this is going to be a cracking sort of cocktail rum. But then that's doing this a disservice as a base rum with a hint of pineapple. The one thing I don't get, I get it on the whiff. But I don't get it on the taste is the apple. It's definitely smell. I definitely get red apple but I don't get it on the taste. But, but that, I, do you know what? In my little daiquiri challenge, it comes, I know that's going to smash it straight away. There's a little bit of spice there, but not over, not sort of red leg. So, you know, we're not even categorizing it in there. Um, so yeah, I, do you know what? I actually would put it in that category. So next thing coming up, we are going to, that's nearly gone, that's how good it is. Look, uh, We are going to have a play about with some mixers and I'm going to come back and uh, find out and tell you what my favourite serves are. Right then, mixer time. I'm back. That was fun. Absolute fun. Daiquiri there. Uh, we'll do that at the end. Um, fun, 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 fun. It is for me, and I know rum. If rum gurus watch these videos, and I don't think they do because they don't tune into me. But if rum gurus watch this and they hear me compare that to Plantation Stiggins Fancy, I think they're going to absolutely lynch me. But I am. I I literally am going in that bracket in that category i i i do and i do love dmf i do love what they stand for but i'm you know i'm putting that as an out and out proper tasty flipping rum uh, with a bit of pineapple in there really really good so serve wise where are we first and thirsty i've lost it first one yes as it says on the back of the bottle as it says in the little little label ginger beer that is an amazing kind of dark and stormy pineapple and dark and stormy pineapple rum and ginger beer whatever you want to call it that is a delicious wedge of lime in there 
works a treat. Excuse me. Uh, that's how much it works a treat. I'm really, really sorry. Um, yes, uh, if you haven't tuned into these videos before, that is my favourite ginger beer, Franklin Sun. So I've just had a bit of a rebrand from that. Um, I think it's much better for me personally than Old Jamaica and Fever Tree. It just sits nicely in between. For Old Jamaica is that little bit sweeter and Fever Tree is that little bit drier. That just sits perfectly in there for me. So that is my top out and out pick. My second uh, actual pick was, and, and this is going to be quite funny because I'm not, I do love Franklin's and Sons. They are really, really not paying me to say this, but it's just this. Since uh, since Lauren, had, uh, thank you very much, Lauren, my uh, global uh, kind of rep, has sent me a few of these to play with. I flipping love this. This is their brand new, and I'll make sure uh, kind of so it's not uh, reflecting off the light there. This is Franklin's and Sons brand spanking new pineapple with a hint of almond mixer. Um, I'm not even sure it's been officially launched. It's officially out there yet. I think it is, but I'm not sure. Uh, the best way to describe this, if I really can, is, and I really struggle to get people to comprehend this, this is a lemonade uh, with a hint of pineapple think lemonade that lemonade taste that plain normal lemonade taste with a hint of pineapple and a very subtle hint of lemon uh, of almond do not think of it as an alternative to that because this is a very different beast and um, the pineapple soda um that is in a just in a, its whole little world of its own that whole lemonade thing and that is just so delicious and so tasty uh, but while that's here yes that did work as well obviously you're taking the sort of pineapple hints away and you're just making that into a fun and fruity drink uh, but i as a to bring out the profile of that rum that just works amazingly well uh last thing as well um there's a few others lil ting worked quite well ting was actually quite nice but was the uh was the coconut mixer um, if you are a traditionalist and don't like overly sweet pina coladas, then it's a simple serve. This was a banging. And again, if you've just tuning into these videos for the first time, this is purely and simply the brand of coconut um, uh, mixer that I have. I haven't tried these with Vita Coco. These are all always on offer in Tesco's. Um, Normally they're quite expensive, 95p a can, but then two for a quid when they are on offer. So I've got a few of these. These have got chunks of coconut, and I actually really do like it. I'm not even saying Vita Coco is better. I actually genuinely do love that. I think that works a treat. So it's kind of cheeky pina colada that's not overly sweet, and you could add a bit of sugar to it if you wanted to. I just think that works, but yeah, I'm not I'm not going too far away from that. Definitely ginger beer over ginger ale uh, all day long. But big, big fan of that. Only last thing to do, I was going to say try the daiquiri. I, it's not trying because I've already had one of these. This is flipping lovely. Amazing. Absolutely works. Proper 4 to 1 ratio there or 2 one half, whatever you want to say. Um, so four parts uh, rum, two parts lime juice, one part sugar. That is super, super tasty. That is everything you want and more from a daiquiri. I flipping do love that. That to me is a proper premium product and I would have no hesitations in classing that up there with the 25, 30 pound bracket. I think it's that good, especially when it makes daiquiris like that. Oh God, I'm just, I'm gonna make some more of these. Anyway, um, yeah. There we have it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, uh, give me a like. If you like me and if you want to watch more of my stuff, uh, as I say, through the week it's cocktails and then Sundays it's rum, flavoured rums, uh, sorry, spiced rums and flavoured rums. Uh, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to get notified every time I set a new video live. And then the last thing to tell you guys about is my Patreon. It has been relaunched. New membership tiers for me to give back to you. You can support me and I'll help you drink, serve and enjoy your favourite drinks even more. Can't wait to get that properly on the road. There's a few people in there now. Uh, thank you. <sighs> cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers.